people who like portray women like bitches. And I will get so depressed. Try to work out as much as I can so I can actually meet like the standards like body, beauty or whatever. Like they always put out like these ideal bodies, and I guess I'm one of the women that tries to, like, go there. Society, women specifically, it's like, if you don't dress up, put makeup on, or do something to look like a woman, they call you an instantly a lesbian, or instantly, like, less of a woman. I had a three-year-old baby, and after that, my body did not bounce right back, so, of course, all I did was watch TV, because, actually, I couldn't go anywhere for, like, six weeks, I couldn't go outside of anything. So I stayed watching t- television, and I would get so depressed because, like, I was my stomach was just like jiggly and all out of shape, and I couldn't really do anything about it. So I just be depressed, just keep eating everything and eating, and then I actually gained weight in my in my thighs and like in my stomach area, and I started to get like stretch marks and stuff like that. And as I was watching TV, I'm like. I have to do something about my body. I do not like the way I look. So, you know, the media kind of encouraged me to work out and, you know, get my stomach back in shape. I guess you can say that the way that I redirected that by working out is a good thing. But the fact that the media was able to make me feel depressed about the way I look was bad. Um, I work out a lot and I keep to a really strict diet. I used to make myself throw up after meals. Um, yeah, because when I was a kid, I was into fashion a lot, so I would read like Seventeen and Teen Vogue and like other magazines. And <clears throat> I see all this woman that's so skinny, and I'm looking at myself like I'm not like that. I feel, I feel. I feel like a lot of women agree that um, you have to do something to attract, I guess, the men. You have to live up to, the, like, having the fake boobs and the style and stuff like that and getting the fake eyelashes and the fake extensions and this and that and to look like a Barbie, like this perfect version of how a woman should look, like a Barbie. In my cultural race media class, my teacher showed us this um, this YouTube video of how they, you know, crop the pictures on the magazines and stuff like that. And I'm I'm thinking like this is crazy because even the models and the celebrities doesn't look the way they look in these magazines. Because when she showed us the YouTube video, like they were pushing up her chin, making her neck longer, making her face thinner, making her eyes slantier and stuff like that. And I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, they should be as they are. Like, why would you fix them? It was, it was just nuts to me. It was just really, really nuts to me. It's crazy that our technology has got to that point, but the way we use it is bad. The time summer came around, it was like a huge stress for me because I hated showing my arms. I thought they were so fat. And I wouldn't allow myself to wear tank tops or like super short sleeve shirts. Like I would wear longer shirts or I would just stay inside all day just because like I felt that I was too fat to go outside. Being a Latina, you know, um, Mexican or, you know, Latina moms will definitely put a toll on that too. Because I remember wearing some shirts and I would be like, oh, it's like, Put a different shirt on, your pancita's showing, and blah, blah, blah. Or why don't you do your hair? Why don't you do your makeup? Um, my mom would, like, constantly tell me, dress up, look pretty, do this, do that, you know? And I really didn't start caring or even trying to live up to any expectations until after high school. And it, the only reason why I did start, like, dressing up and stuff like that and doing makeup all the time is because I felt my self-esteem rise, like, drastically. And more people started noticing, paying attention to me. You know, I don't know if, um, you know, Facebook has a lot to do with it, but, like, you know how girls post up pictures on Facebook all the time? Like, I feel like when I'm really, like, having a bad day or if I feel, like, really, like, big crap about myself, I try my best to, like, take a really, really pretty picture and post it up <laughs> and the likes I feel like okay maybe I'm kind of pretty you know like maybe one day I'll find a guy who like really thinks I'm hot and then like eventually gets to know me <laughs> for who I am.
especially when it comes to my my um my stomach area. Like I try to I try to make it like like cut like cut abs like boy abs like some girls be having on TV. I try to make it that way, but for some reason I can't. And my body type I can't I can't get it that way. So of course I you know I keep trying you know keep adding more push ups or keep adding more techniques to my workout. But it's like I'm never gonna get there. So I have come to the conclusion that my body is not meant to look like that. So I just I just give up. But I can say it do make it does make me feel like I can't I can't be that idea of beauty. People should be happy with the way that they are. These people who are making these products, these bleaching creams, is not only telling people that they don't look good or their complexion is ugly, they need something better. They is basically destroying people's self-esteem. You're you for a reason. God made you the way you are because he loves you and that's the way you're meant to be.